This is an overview of the First Responder Jump Kit version 3. So this kit is designed to be an all-encompassing kit for anyone trained at the first responder level to provide treatment for really anything you're going to come across in a standard situation. So this is the perfect kit to be taking to event medical response, to have for a group bag response if you're overlanding. Uh, you can keep it in your vehicle, responding to any other uh, disaster relief. It's really designed to be an all-encompassing kit for that. Uh, for that fact, we chose a really high-vis red bag here. It has lots of molly and webbing attachments on the front, as well as both sides. So you can affix other gear to this. High-vis medical patch. And we chose these really oversized, easy-to-grab zippers. So these zipper pulls can be grabbed even with gloves on in colder weather. Just makes everything super easy. So the bag itself is pretty phenomenal. And then we'll go through the contents of the kit here. So everything is organized to make access and finding things nice and easy. So this big pouch up the front here, this has your assessment gear, your stationary gear, and your personal protective gear. So we've got some safety glasses for eye protection. We have a full headlamp here uh, that's a one size fits all. It comes with your low beam, high beam, red light, and flashing red. So just an amazing piece of gear for responding for night calls or calls in the dark. Um, in here for our stationary, we have a, uh, well, first of all, we have a reusable pen light, which means you can change the batteries on this. It's a big upgrade from our last one. It's got your pupil gauge on there. We have a pen, a permanent black marker, and a pencil, just so you can write in all conditions. Uh, back here, we have our injury illness report booklet. This is on right in the rain paper. It has some patient assessment reminders, and then a whole bunch of injury illness report forms to fill out and hand off to EMS. Then we have our waterproof Canadian first responder field guide. So this is a full kind of map to first aid and it's got an overall encompassing review of just about every topic covered. So this is just a great field guide and it is waterproof tear proof paper as well. So that's back here. Uh, we have a digital thermometer and with that comes in here 100 probe covers. So you can use that safely uh, in between patients. We have a uh, 30 mil hand sanitizing bottle here. Uh, we have a stethoscope for listening to lungs, bowel sounds, anything else you need to auscultate. Uh, that's all our gear up here. Then we have our brand new auximeter in our hard, rigid, clearly labeled auximeter case. This is a nice zipper case. It comes with the brand new Physiologic Auximeter, which is one of the best on the market right now. It is a Health Canada approved auximeter. Comes with your batteries and a lanyard as well. So that's for checking your oxygen levels with your patient. Then we have uh, four pre-packed pairs of gloves in here, as well as our fully pre-packed personal protective equipment kit. So this comes with your isolation gown, a face shield, an N95 mask, a medical mask, another pair of gloves, two hand cleansing wipes, a biohazard bag, and a vomit bag. So that's a great little kit there for any personal protective needs. And then back here, we also have a high visibility vest. So we're, you know, predominantly your highest kind of response risk is uh, responding to motor vehicle accidents. So this is going to allow you to be highly visible if you're around any moving um, heavy, heavy machinery. So that's the bottom pouch here. Up top here is our emergency pouch. So we have our window punch and seatbelt cutter for car access. This comes standard with the Cat Gen 7 tourniquet, although you can change this out for the Sam XT or the Soft tourniquet, so it's your choice, but it comes standard with that. Uh, we have our compact pressure dressing. This is a three inch elastic wrap with a gauze pad attached. This is a really quick and easy uh, to attach pressure dressing for controlling bleeding. We have our compressed crinkle gauze for packing wounds. We have our CPR barrier module. So this includes a full adult sized pocket mask, an infant sized pocket mask, and a face shield with one way valve. So lots of options when you're providing ventilations uh, during CPR. And then we have a pair of trauma shears to access patient injuries. So that's your emergency gear all up top here. Then in the main compartment, this is where the vast majority of the rest of your gear is. We have our blood pressure cuff. We have a large water bottle. 
Uh, so we included a water bottle because this can be used for multiple things. Patient hydration can be a big factor where you have someone dehydrated and you need to do that. And we also include in here in our electrolyte and glucose module, uh, we have uh, two packets of electrolyte solution that can be added to this. Uh, we have oral glucose tabs as well as uh, glucose gels. So that's all up in this kit here. And that goes well with this. This also has a sports cap to it. So this is really good for irrigating wounds. Uh, newest guidelines show clean drinkable water or saline are kind of the go-tos for cleaning wounds. So that just gives you a lot to use here and it's easily replaceable. Um, also up here, we have our hypothermia first aid module. So this includes two emergency Mylar space blankets and two instant body warmers to keep your patient warm. Particularly important with trauma patients or anyone sick, you're worried about shock. Down here, we have our splint module. So this is everything for uh, splinting bone, muscle, and joint injuries for the most of the standard injuries. So it comes with three triangulars, a moldable aluminum padded splint, a two inch, a four inch, and a six inch elastic wrap, two tongue depressors, two instant cold packs, and a roll of one inch uh, cloth athlete's tape. So it's a nice little module. And these are e easily replaceable at wildmedkits.ca. You can just buy a whole new module to swap these out with. Then we have our emergency OB delivery kit. Definitely not something we're commonly coming across, but if you do, it's nice to have all the tools and the reminders in it. So this has everything in here for assisting with the uh, delivery of an infant in a pre-hospital environment, as well as a review card on the back, walking you through the steps of what to do to assist. And if the infant needs is some level of resuscitation, this kind of guides you through that there. So really nice reminder card and it has all the tools to keep everything clean and sterile while you're assisting with that event. Then in here, we have the rest of our main gear. So up top here, we have our eye injury module for dealing with eye injuries. This comes with two eye shields, two eye pads, a saline irrigator bottle, so a large bottle of saline for irrigating eyes. You can also use this for wound irrigation. Uh, two four inch roller gauzes, one two inch roller gauze, two cotton tip applicators, and a half inch roll of medical tape. And just like all our other modules, on the back of these cards, they come with a guide. So every single module will always have a guide on it, helping you to walk through how to use these modules. And they also all come with a QR code on the front that you can scan to get some videos on how to use the gear. Then same goes for our burn module with the QR code and the guide on the back. And this one has a water gel dressing, a water gel packet, two non-adherent pads and a uh, roller gauze. So great for treating minor burns. Then this is our first aid instrument roll. So it's nicely packed uh, to keep it water resistant and everything comes in this really nice organizing case. So this has all your first aid instruments from Kelly clamps, scissors, tweezers, nail clippers. You have uh, splinter removal tools. There's a scalpel in here if you need it. Uh, magnifying glass to clean out wounds and then some alcohol prep uh, pads to clean your instruments before and after so that comes in here so that's all the top pouch there then in our bottom pouch we have our large gauze module so this is all the gauze you would need for dressings and bandages you get five of the large non-adherent pads five two by twos five four by fours two large abdominal trauma pads uh, two two-inch rolls of gauze, two four-inch rolls of gauze, and a one-inch roll of clear medical tape. So that all comes in this nice little kit here. And again, easily refillable if you get used. Then we have our bandage module. So this is all your Band-Aid bandages. It's got 20 of your regular kind of uh, fabric, regular size, uh, 10 of the knuckle, 10 of the fingertip, 10 of the large island ones, and 10 butterfly strip bandages for minor lacerations. And then last but not least, we have our swab module. So this uh, is all the different cleaning swabs and swabs you can use for the patient. It includes 10 alcohol swabs, 10 BZK wound cleaning swabs, 10 hand cleansing, hand cleansing towelettes, two skin tack adhesive swabs, two bacitracin ointment packets, and two sting swabs. And again, easily replaceable at wildmedkits.ca. So that's all the main components of the bag. And there is room in here because we do sell this kit with advanced modules, including an advanced airway module and an advanced trauma module. And all that will fit in here as well as uh, some personal gear if you need to. The last piece of kit is actually behind the straps here. And right in the back, we have our full size litter. So this is just a phenomenal piece of gear. This is called the quick litter. And this allows you to lift and move a patient 
Uh, particularly if you have multiple people, you could drag them if needed, although it doesn't hold up significantly well over a long-term drag. Uh, but these are rated for up to 500 pounds. So this is great for quick moves of a patient onto a stretcher, off of a roadway, uh, where they need to be. So that is all encompassing our first responder jump kit V3. So that's our standard setup. And like I said, you can add two optional components. There's an advanced trauma set and an advanced airway breathing set. And we have a video covering those two advanced modules to follow. Uh, you can grab this and any other gear at wildmedkits.ca.